Hey, this is Maureen from WisconsinMommy.tv and I'm here in the Midwest where spring has finally arrived. The snow's melted, the flowers are blooming, and the birds are chirping. And I'm doing what a lot of people in this area are doing, which is getting my garden ready for the season. And I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you a product I found that solves a problem that a lot of us in this area have, which is birds. Whether the birds are damaging your house or damaging your garden, there is a great product out there that can help keep them away. Last year I had birds attacking both the container garden on my patio where they were taking my cherry tomatoes and picking them off the plants and leaving them strewn all over the patio making a huge mess. And even in my raised bed they were stripping my leafy greens down to just stems. I spoke with somebody who was having a problem with woodpeckers and had found a perfect solution to it that he was sure would help in my garden as well. And it did. It's called scare tape. And what it is is a holographic tape that reflects light, which scares the birds, as well as makes noise when the wind blows, which also scares the birds. It's the perfect solution to keeping birds away from your home, away from your garden, without harming them and without having to spend a lot of money. So let me walk you through exactly what I did to keep them away from my garden. So for my raised bed garden, I gathered together some twine, a hole punch, some duct tape, and the scare tape, and then of course scissors. And what I did was I cut the scare tape into pieces that were probably about eight inches long and I reinforced one end with duct tape and then punched a hole through it. I put the twine through that and then secured it to some bamboo poles or stakes that I had had left over from last year. I put those in each corner of the raised bed garden and that was enough to keep my birds away. Now if you have particularly tenacious birds you might find that you need to string up something across the top and maybe have some scare tape up there as well but this worked perfectly for mine and I like the solution much better than putting netting over it which is what people were suggesting because I still have complete access to the plants while keeping the birds away. To protect my tomato plants since I was already using tomato cages to support them as they got larger I just cut the scare tape into again about eight inch strips and then cut it in half lengthwise and then just simply tied it around a couple different spots on the tomato cages and that was enough not only to keep the birds away from my tomatoes but it actually kept them off the patio altogether. Thanks again to DeBird Scare Tape for partnering with me on this video. I was so excited to be able to talk about a product that I've been using and have had such success with. So thanks for watching WisconsinMommy.tv. Please do hit subscribe so you don't miss a video. And if you enjoyed this and would like to see some more gardening videos, be sure to give us a thumbs up.